Driving Test UK, the short notice driving test specialist. Keller has just started his driving test at the Stevenage Driving Test Centre. We have parked in the long term car park outside the driving test centre. On entrance to the car park, take a token and keep it with you nearby as you will require it to exit the car park. Approach the barriers on exit with caution as you do not want to hit the curb on your right. However, at the same time, you do not want to be too far away that you cannot insert the token. The driving examiner has asked Keller to turn left out of the car park and then immediately right into Draper's Way. We will be turning right onto the high street. Keller's view to the right is now obstructed by the van. You will notice that Keller is not rushing. He is allowing the van driver to edge into the road slowly so Keller can edge slowly out. It's very important that you do not pull into a road unless you get a view. The driving examiner has asked us to turn left into Pound Avenue. We will be turning right at this roundabout towards the town centre. At the roundabout, we'll be turning right, the third exit.
Remember to check that left hand mirror when leaving the roundabout. We have just turned left into Bridge Road. The driving examiner has asked Keller to pull up on the left at a safe, convenient place. When moving off after stopping, remember to check that right shoulder, the blind spot. We are now turning right into Fairview Road. The driving examiner has just asked Keller to stop on the left close to the car in front, ignoring the driveways. This is for the purpose of the angle start. Even though the examiner says stop fairly close to the vehicle in front, you must leave yourself enough room to be able to move off. We have just turned left into Torquay Crescent. Once again, the driving examiner has asked us to stop on the left somewhere conveniently safe. This time, it's for the purpose of the turn in the road exercise. This exercise is commonly called a three-point turn. However, it does not have to be done in three moves. At the mini roundabout, we will turn left back onto Fairview Road. On these types of narrow roads, it's very important that you continuously check the mirrors and be prepared to give way to any oncoming vehicles.
At the roundabout, we've just followed the road round towards the left. The road now becomes Fisher's Green Road. It's generally a good idea to keep checking mirrors for each and every single hump. We have just turned left onto Scarborough Avenue. Bear in mind you can talk to the driving examiner during the test. The driving examiner has asked Keller once again to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. This time it's to start the independent driving section of the driving test. The examiner has asked Keller to drive to the end of the road and turn left and then at the roundabout to turn left again and then at the second roundabout to turn right. He has asked Keller to repeat the instructions so that he is confirmed that Keller understands the instructions.
We have just turned left. This is the first part of the independent drive. We are now looking for the roundabout in order to turn left. So we have turned left at the roundabout. The next roundabout, the instructions were to turn right. So we will be turning right at this roundabout. The driving examiner has now given the instructions to follow the signs marked A1. A1 was signposted the second exit at the roundabout. Keller has taken the second exit. If you missed the sign on approach to the roundabout, you can ask the examiner for confirmation. He will help you. The driving examiner has now instructed Keller to take the underpass. Keller has moved back into the left-hand lane on his own accord. Bear in mind, if there are two or more lanes, you must be in the left-hand lane. That is, unless road signs or road markings indicate otherwise.
the driving examiner has now asked Keller to follow the signs marked Hertford. For the final part of the independent driving section, the examiner has now asked Keller to follow the signs towards the town centre. The driving examiner has just informed Keller that this is the end of the independent driving section of the driving test. The examiner from now on will direct Keller as normal. The driving examiner has asked Keller to follow the road ahead, that's the second exit. The driving examiner has now informed us that we will be turning right at the next roundabout. The driving examiner has now informed Keller that we will be taking the next road on the left which is just before the bus stop. This is Popple Way.
at the end of this road will be turning right and then immediately left into Greg Dell's Road. We have just turned left into Haycroft Road. The driving examiner has not marked this as a fault as we were already committed and the other person, the other learner driver was just entering. At the roundabout, we have been asked to turn left into Latchmore Road. At the mini roundabout, we'll be turning right into Pound Avenue. We are now back into the high street.
we are now turning left back onto Popple Way heading towards the driving test centre. The driving examiner has asked Keller to turn left and then right into the long stay car park. Once again Keller has to stop, wind down his window and press a button in order to obtain a token. Keller has done remarkably well. He has passed his driving test with not a single minor mistake. Only one in a thousand people pass their driving test without making any mistakes at all. Hello, I'm Charlie. I'm the voice behind the video. Firstly, a big congratulations to Keller on passing his driving test. Did you know that Stevenage Driving Test Centre has a pass rate of less than 50%? Increase your chances of passing the driving test with these top driving test tips. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test.